All right, hello everybody again to Blue Lichen Hobbies. We're gonna do a little hobby update video and uh, things to come on this channel. So I'm gonna show off some things I've done pre um, previously, hobby related, show some packs I have for future videos that I'm gonna be unboxing, and just some hobby tools that I have. So as I mentioned before, um, for hobby, I'm mostly gonna be using my Army Painter paints, but I do have a little bit of other stuff and the uh, paint kit one second that I was talking about that I'm mostly using is everything in here the mega paint set the army painter mega paint set so I got this um, semi new got a good deal on it on eBay I saved like f about fifty dollars most paints are still brand new untouched the brush I needed to use a uh, cleaner on but besides that it was great um, I'm not gonna open this box because there's nothing inside my paints are on a paint rack I have but yeah look it's a great starter normally it retails for like 130 I saved about 50 bucks on it and you get all the very ba basic paints you get some washes some blood effects some rust effects that I haven't used yet but to my experience these are great now a lot of people don't know but when they get them and they shake them a little they still get white residue at the beginning but uh, they just made a, a little while ago a tutorial that it's actually okay to have it because it helps the paint not to dry. So what you want to do is shake it briefly a little bit, squirt out some of the see through and then after that shake it for a good solid 30 seconds to a minute and then the paint comes out solid after that. So yeah, these are the ones I'm going to be using from now on on future tutorial stuff. But yeah, I figured I'll show you guys what I'm working with here. I do have a few uh, Scale 75 and a few P3 paints still and a few Vallejo paints. Now, <clears throat> these are some of the most recent things I have worked on. I know, um, in case you guys ask, uh, all the painted stuff besides the wizards here. Let me see if I can show you guys better. Here you go. So all of these guys are here are uh, halflings from War Games Atlantics. Um, I recently became a big fan of them. They give you a lot of models for a cheap price. And uh, I'm going to be showing a few of those off here. I made three squads. I made pikemen, spearmen, bowmen. And these are like the patterns. And these models here are range anywhere from Reaper Bones to the <clears throat> Dungeons and Dragons minis. But here, let me show you a few of these. Now, I'm not the best painter. These are just tabletop standard. I just did them nice enough that, uh, you know, they look good on the TV. On the TV, what am I saying? They look good on the tabletop. Now, it's just basic paint, you know, base coats, wash. This is a pikeman. I did these guys with the white. And the uh, basing, I did, I cheaped out for super easy. Um, what I use for all the basing, um, as of now, is this, the Warlords, Battlefields, and Basings. This, I think, is great because it has grass and it has a little bit of rocks. So, it gives you this base. And I think it's great. So, that's that. Um, these are the Pikemen. These Pikemen guys, I, uh, I painted them green. So, you can see. Um, and this camera... That's going to be one of the first things I need to up update here. So you guys can see everything much better. So it's again War Games and Antics Halflings. I sadly don't have the box anymore. But if you search them up, I'm sure they'll come up. The Spearman I did light blue. There you go. Oh, come on. Come on. There you go. So like I said, I didn't go crazy on these. I just base coated, washed done just tabletop standard decent enough that you can be playing with them you know play any game kings of war dungeon dragon pathfinder now these wizard dudes i did each one a different way like i said they're all over i did learn how to magnetize i can do that in a future video so i did one of each color and they're all minis from dungeon dragons to reaper miniatures just cheap minis just so I can get used to painting again oops like this guy is purple I did the owl white and I made him look like he was blind and I did the owl white with blue eyes and I made the wizard or 
mage, whatever you want to use him. Make him look like he was blind. This is the other guy here. This guy I did uh, green. Like I said, I'm not the best painter, but I just did him tabletop standard, decent enough. So they're also able to be used on D&D or Pathfinder or any game you want. This guy I did gray. You know, just simple. Simple gray. Another cool little mini. And give me one second. Okay, so where was I? I was showing you guys this uh, red one here. Um, so yeah, like I said, just tabletop standard. Nothing crazy. I do know how to do highlights and all that. But I figured I'll leave that for other more uh, time-consuming models. This is another dude I did, uh, purple. Use the same basic material. Let me see. This is a leader for the halflings. Come on, yeah, he's not the best, but tabletop ready. Just simple, good enough to play with. And then I did these elite dudes. Purple, like the paladins or like the knights. Pretty cool. And in case you're wondering, um, this guy is still model. I haven't painted. I think he's a cleric. So not painted yet or nothing. All these guys on the side, I think, are Reaper. I got them because they're all like sci-fi dinosaurs. And I thought that was pretty cool. So hopefully I'll be painting these guys soon. They're all just primed. I know the models say they're primed already. But I didn't want to take my chances, so I um, primed them again with brush on primer from Barmy Painter. It's like a T Rex. Pretty cool guy. Um, a Triceratops. This guy is like an armadillo. Oops, sorry. Shaky camera. Armadillo here. Not painted yet. And this guy is uh, like a pterodactyl. Really cool sci fi minis. These are great if you've never been in the hobby or you want something really cheap to paint or practice uh, paint techniques on. Now, this guy, this big guy here, I believe he is uh, from Broken Ambro. It's the first and only mini I have from them. After washing it, it glued on perfectly, and I was really surprised with all the detail it has. I think it's a 42 mil scale. Now, um, I do need to fill in a few gaps here but besides that it's a super cool model and you get multiple hands hand options and all these dudes are actually from well this exodus i'm completely new to the game um, but i uh, figured they're super cool models so i got them but i haven't painted them or nothing yet so this is their leader i think i just don't know their names This is another one here. Uh, let me see. This see the next guy is a big guy. Four hands. So this is Wildest Exodus again. I forgot what posse this was. Close the door. Close the door. Sorry, it's uh, my daughter. <laughs> okay, so this guy is another big dude. It's a gas mask. Really cool. Big gun. Super cool. Looking forward to painting these. And the last guy here. Submachine gun. Super cool. Really big. Magnetized. Like I said, in the future videos, I can show how to do that. So, like, these are all magnetized. <coughs> Oops, sorry. Um, yeah, so let's see here. Um, next thing I was going to show is a few cards for future videos I'm going to be um, doing. Um, actually, 
actually real quick I'm just gonna show you some tools in case if you some people are new to the hobby you know you just need your basic tools like you're gonna have an exacto knife some hobby clippers you know of course brushes I have more brushes than this of course um, <clears throat> and uh, molar remover is not necessary but it does help <clears throat> and of course glue um, for plastic glue I use the media cement it's been great you can put it on and then put the pieces together or put the pieces together and there's a little brush in here that you just put the glue in the cracks and this is of course a super glue because not all models are complete plastic so I always recommend one plastic and one super glue this one's from Brooker's Hobbies okay so over here is actually my little container of cards that I'm going to be um, packing on other future episodes. So it's just plastic. Let me move these out of the way. So like I said here, I have a few magic, a few magic cards, a few Yu-Gi-Oh cards, packs. You know, future video I'm going to be unpacking these. And as you can see here, I got some Pokemon ones. Got a few more Yu-Gi-Oh ones here. I have a few Pokemon ones from uh, McDonald's that I haven't opened. I have a 25th anniversary folder back here that I'm gonna also be doing. And over here, over here, I have a few more Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon cards. Ghastly Hunter Gengar, you know. He doesn't like those guys. And then I have a few over here. So these will be all future video stuff and of course as I buy stuff down the road I'll be also unpacking that. Um, let's see here. I do have also this that I'm going to be unboxing in a future video. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Dragons of Legends. I'm still learning all these new summoning formats that I came out with the XYZ, the Synchro Summon and link summon and all that stuff is new to me so i'm still learning trying to catch up on that and then of course on the next pokemon i'm packing i'm gonna be unboxing this guy the trainer's toolkit this is all i have for now but of course as i find stuff in the stores i'll be buying them and unboxing them for you guys so yeah just a little uh, channel update of future things to come and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it have a nice day